here are the measurements you need to make for the simple harmonic oscillations lab. We start with the combination of the red spring with 0.5 kilograms of mass hanging above the motion sensor. You gently displace it a few centimeters up and then you'll just let it go. Under the capstone software, you can now start your recording. For most combinations, you only need seven or eight oscillations worth of data. Observe that the position graph is actually smooth sinusoidal and doesn't dip below 0.2 meters. Then you repeat with the red spring 0.7 kilogram by adding the extra 0.2 kilograms. This might be a little bit trickier because of the slanted nature of the 0.5 kilograms now. Still gently displace it straight upward a few centimeters and let it go. And start the recording, once again, you really only need seven or eight good oscillations worth. You then switch over to the yellow spring. and hang back the 0.5 kilograms on it. Gently displace it upward and let it start oscillating. Once again, you really only need about seven oscillations worth for actual data purposes, but it is always safer to record a little bit more and then later cut down the parts you don't need. Finally, return the red spring with the 0.5 kilograms. Start the oscillation. Nice and gentle. But this time you need to take a long run, and by long I mean at least 100 seconds worth. You can check whether the long run, the one that should show the light damping effect is correct by expanding the graph. If you did it correctly, then the maxima and minima should be converging smoothly or relatively smoothly and symmetrically towards the equilibrium point on both sides. Make sure that throughout you remember which run number corresponded to what combination of, of weights and springs before exporting the data as 
e text file. You may even include the name, in the name of the file, the code for the different runs. In my case, R1 is run one and lowercase r5 corresponds to a combination of red spring and 5, 0.5 kilograms, run two is red spring 0.7 kilograms and so forth in the coding. Finally, before striking the set, make sure that the file that you just exported is uh, readable uh, correctly in Excel. <clears throat> 